the Thanos. But the H theory no. has been debunked. It, no, it still holds it true. It was right all along. It was what? right all along. Do you know why? Because that H still stands for something. What does it stand for? T, Tesseract. H, heaving your daughter off a cliff. <laughs> a, ether. N, necklace. O, orb. S, scepter. Welcome to Drunken Movie Geeks. My name is Matt Swizzy. With me is Chris Larry here. In the fact cave is fact check Dan DeMar. We're talking about Avengers Infinity War, part one, season one, episode one. And, Tonight. Uh, full spoilers? Oh, full spoilers. We're raging spoilers. Don't watch this if you haven't seen the movie. I would just like to preface this by just don't watch it. I mean, <laughs> shut the fucking In general, off. In probably could be watching something better. 100%. But, but the important thing is, this movie is incredible. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of in awe in this movie. This was kind of an impossible task. And because the Avengers movies are kind of one for two so far. Like, the first Avengers was good. You know, I've, no, I've rewatched. Ultron? They're one, for, they're one for two and a half. This movie does everything that Ultron should have done and, like, tells a complete story but also has world building. It does not tell a complete story. But that's okay. Well, it well, does. Uh, you could you could end the entire Marvel universe at the end of this movie, and you it's, could. It still works, which is brilliant. You don't want. To. I mean, we'll get into whatever the minutia. We have. Um, but yeah, broad thoughts. I you know I I like this movie a lot. Yeah, it's a very good movie. It's it's, it's, it's good film. It's a good movie. A, a lot of fun. They, they managed to make a good movie. There's characters and action. There's and a villain. There's a villain. Which phase, is, although Marvel's Phase Three has been really. Stepping up their game villain wise. I, I think um, I was saying this to Chris. Because we have what Vulture, um, Killmonger. Yep. Uh, Zemo. Zemo was yeah. actually a pretty good villain. They, they've and, been phenomenal villains. But now the Grand Oh, Hella. Them all. Oh, Hella was actually pretty Hella, fun. Hella and the Grandmaster, even though the Grandmaster was more of a, detri uh, a detriment yeah. than an actual villain, it was a lot of fun. Uh, but Phase 3's villains so far have been more compelling than Phase 1 or Phase 2. Phase 1 is the kind of like the honeymoon period where they don't know what they're doing, so they're kind of fucking around. Yeah. That's where we get movies that do weird shit like, you know, Iron Man 1 where there was largely no script, or Thor where they let a Shakespearean trained director make a fantasy movie. They train film directors in, in the yeah. Shakespearean craft of... Yeah, he's oh, used, Shakespeare would have done it. He's used to writing about, you know, kings and queens, much as Budweiser is the king of beers. <laughs> we have Kenneth Branagh making a movie about the king of thunder, <laughs> Lord of Thunder, the sexy, sexy, sensual Lord of Thunder. That's the important thing for me. And you know what? This movie really did, um, it was dependent on Thanos working. Thanos in the comic book, his sort of character motivation I was waiting to see what they were doing. So I'm like, they're not going to introduce death no. as an anthropomorphic, anthropomorphized person. Yeah, the personification of an idea. Yeah, I'm like, they're not going to do that now because, listen, it, it works in the comic books, but even in the movies, I'm like, they're not going to do that. They, had, do a, they had a planet become a person yeah, that's, recently. Mm, that's true. Okay. To be fair, they so have they, flirted. They've, phase three is where they started doing weird shit. And so they, uh, they fully could have gotten away with it. They could have. They still could they still could. No. Lady Death could show up and be like, hey, Thanos, how you doing? No, but that's not his motivation in no. this movie. It's not mentioned. Perfectly balanced, the way everything should be. And a lot of this movie was riding on Thanos' motivation, and I like um, that he's not, he's not maniacal about it. No. It doesn't even seem like he's enjoying this. It's, it's almost like a burden on his shoulders. And he's like, yeah. I'm the only person who can do this, and the burden is on me to get it done see we had that's funny that you mentioned that because his his goals are altruistic like he's doing mm. bad shit for a good reason and chitteroni and i were talking about this and we were talking about what's a more powerful weapon is it stormbreaker or is it mjolnir and this is the reason i mentioned this is you know mjolnir had the worthiness enchantment and cap could move it but vision could 100 percent lift it right because he's worthy because he's pure of heart and pure of being I have a feeling that Thanos could probably lift the hammer in this context because oh, yeah. what he's doing is like it's a mission from God 
for it, him. It very much is a mission from God. He, he like is. I think that would be such a funny and he blew his scene. brothers kind of away. Yeah, and um, it, that came about because we were talking about, you know, if he could, if if Thor had still had Mjolnir, he could just sit it on Thanos' chest and or sit it on the gauntlet and pull it off of him so he can't use it. But I'm like, no, he could probably lift it. Because what he's it's, doing it has yeah, a purpose, and no. he is not deluded about who he is. He's very worthy of whatever he's about to. It's true, like, and again, it's it's not what I was expecting from Thanos. Oh, man, and it, it goes to show how much the the plan has changed. Because look at yeah. the Thanos scene at the end of Ultron when he grabs the gauntlet. And he's like, "Fine, I'll do it myself." And I'm like, clearly not the same Thanos we have. But we in this don't movie. we don't even know what his motivations were back then because like you'll, also, you'll do what yourself. But we know he didn't have the gauntlet sitting there because Peter Dinklage just made it for him. Yeah, they, they all the post credit scenes unless they link directly into another movie with an ex, like plot exposition are pretty much just there to tease stuff. Yeah. So like in And again, I'm fine with that because yeah. all the Thanos teasing we got was kind of mostly shitty. Most so of I, it. I actually like that they're like, "All right, fuck that guy and let's just sort of Start from scratch with the Thanos well, character. Yeah, Brolin got screen time in Guardians of the Galaxy, like the OG one. Yeah, and even then he just sat on the throne being a dick. I mean, it was. Kind I mean, of, he kind of did that for a little bit. Yeah, he was, was just being a dick to Gamora. But you know, Thanos, look at that. He looks great too. I, the you CG. Almost, you almost forget that he's a all CG person. When he's like, crying he's, at the end and he has that like quiet moment to himself on his farm. I thought that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's adorable. Like, and again, this movie works best as a standalone movie if you consider it Thanos' movie. But yeah. It, the uh, movie yeah. has an ending if Thanos is your main character. Yeah. If it, otherwise, the movie does not have an ending. We don't get to see Tony and Cap even... They don't even share a scene. They don't, they like, don't share a scene. Again, I don't think they ever will. Again, the, the only knocks I have against this movie is that it's... It's a part one, which is fine, yeah. except they don't call it a part one, which they were going to originally. They didn't, and want they're to... like, "This will be a standalone movie," and I'm like, eh, it kind "They didn't of is, want, to... but it kind of isn't in a they lot of ways." They didn't want to part one it, and I don't think they ever said it was a standalone movie. They said this is its own story, and the second movie will finish it up. I don't think they ever use the word standalone. I think they say it's its own story, and then part four or Avenger, Avengers four is them. Which I still think is either going to be Avengers Forever or Avengers Heroes Reborn. So, Dan, um, how much did. money as of Tuesday, March 1st, has this movie made? This movie has made $725,538,300. And that was as Ooh. of this morning. So that hasn't been updated for the end of day today. It's, it's... Which is fucking insane. That's without China. China still hasn't seen this shit. They're going to go nuts. This yeah. movie has made more yeah. in five days than Justice League made in its entire theatrical run. <laughs> oh, I, can't, I, can't, I don't like shitting on DC. That is uh, I don't get it wrong. absolutely I, true. Yeah. But, but, look at the different, <laughs> but look at the difference in a fully CG villain. Like, look at Steppenwolf. Well, they and then fucked look at that Thanos. up. Thanos. They, they, like, and I don't just mean, like, the way they look. I mean, Thanos looks a lot better. But just in the way they handled it. You know, just I don't think that's treating the worst. your villain as a character. Yeah, I don't think that's the worst world. sin the Justice League has is their CG. No, no, but that's again, going against them. But that's sure. a, it's a direct comparison because they yeah. both have a big CG villain. Yes, and just look at how Thanos is handled. Again, this is Thanos' movie. Like we don't get much character development from anyone else. No, it's pretty much the only person who gets backstory is Thanos. And the fact that this movie is doing so well is yeah. Gamora gets like we get to see what Gamora's yeah, world looks yeah, like. No, yeah, no, it's true. Um, but the fact that this movie did so well, considering that you need, you don't need to have seen every Marvel movie. You need 11 but out you of you need 18. to have seen a lot of the other Marvel movies, too. Because this movie does not spend time catching you no, up. No, this is a 37-hour commitment just to watch this movie to do it in full. Yeah. So, to spend three hours in a theater watching a film, you have had to spend 37 hours at home or in theaters watching all of this. Mm -hmm. But the weird thing is... This movie, I think it's it's sold out a thousand showtimes on Thursday alone, and then it started adding more showtimes the entire weekend. There are some theaters in in the city right now. This is the only movie they're showing. Yeah, they've got twelve. The, the theater I got into yeah. only opened up the day of. Oh yeah. Like Silver City pulled something else for so for I, this movie. That's so funny. Like there are people who just saw Black Panther as their first Marvel like, movie and loved it, they, I guarantee you they went back and watched more of these movies yeah. and are now coming to see this. 
And the fucked up thing is that Black Panther's still playing in like the theater next door. Which is, I think is very funny. Like there, there's a there's a possibility that if you're at like a, a weird fourth run, the mosquito in here, piece of shit. If you're a, a weird fourth run theater, you could very well be seeing Ragnarok, Black Panther, and Ultron all in the same day. <laughs> and Ultron. Uh, yeah, sure, Ultron. Why not? Yeah, Infinity War. That's Homecoming, maybe. Homecoming. Yeah, I know. I, I think that'd be funny. You know, July, November, February, April. I think it, that'd be good. You know what this movie did smartly? Uh, is that it, it split everyone off, and they're like, okay, so you five are here. You six are here. Well, yeah, you, you guys are here. Like, you there, can't have $120 million worth of salary on screen <laughs> at once. But Other was, than Robert Downey it Jr. Was, it, was like a, it, it was a smart way, and, and yeah. so much of the fun of these movies is watching the characters I like bounce that, off each I other. I like that we got to see the, the sweet facial hair bros interact. That was my... <laughs> Tony and Strange? Tony, Tony and yeah. Strange. Both, Steve and Tony, nice. because the other Steve and Tony aren't friends right now. No. But the two Peters got to hang out, and that was nifty. Yeah. Yeah. I, obviously, yeah. the superior spe- Peter is Peter from Earth. Peter from Missouri is the shitty Peter. I don't know. You know, I, I like I liked the, the role the Guardians play in this. And they played a big role, especially they, because well, of Gamora, were, right? Like, Gamora played such yeah. a big role in basically Thanos' like, character arc. I didn't like um, that. I really? don't. I don't like the Guardians movies, man. I really oh, don't. I, I've given them a shot. I've watched them nah. multiple times just out of, you know, lip service, the whole thing. No, man, they're I great. don't like them. I liked Guardians 1 as a Star Wars movie because it was a better Star Wars movie than we've had in recent years before The Force Awakens and Last Jedi came out. But... That was it for me. And then when Guardians 2 came out, I was so bored with that movie in general that I forgot mostly all about it until I did my rewatch for this. I, so, like, largely... I, I, I like those movies a lot, and it was nice to see the Guardians folded in. And, you yeah. know, we got to see a few different pairings. I liked the, the Thor... Rocket, Thor and Rocket Groot, dynamic was great because Bradley Cooper mission. is wonderful. Bradley Cooper is so good in this. And yeah. I'm not a Bradley Cooper fan, but man, he's so good at Rocket. When he, when, he, when he gets serious about being a captain and goes to have like a heart-to-heart with Thor, it's like, so, dead parents, huh? Like, that was funny, <laughs> but I like that this, this thing that has no idea how to emote with, with beings other than yeah. himself. Even and in, Drax is fucking hilarious. Drax is the funniest like, autistic character so of all hard. time. The film opens up by the Hulk, strongest there is, champion of Sakaar, getting his shit pushed in. So let's talk about the by op- Grimace. So let's talk about the opening though, because this movie, so, this so movie good. really sets the tone early. This is the- because it opens up and like Thor's already been completely Thor's overpowered. Thor's ass is kicked. And then, listen, I I love Loki. He's one of my favorite characters in these movies, and, okay. and I think he's gone for good. I would like him to be because I love Tom Hiddleston. He was one of my favorite parts of Crimson Peak. I love that movie, and he was great in that movie. However, Loki's boring. He's a good villain, but he can't just, oh, treachery, no. forgiveness. Again, treachery, but you're forgiveness. Right. Loki's like, a good on. villain, but I think after Ragnarok, I'm like, he, I, don't, his arc's I, don't, complete. I don't think there's much more for Loki no. to do in these movies. And that's why he had the dagger to sacrifice himself but the that's what to I mean. show that he really I liked changed. it. I was scared that there, he was going to turn coat again and be like, no. Thanos, let me join you. Need another villain? And then yeah. it's just like, no, I'm so glad guess, that he stayed good. So and that's just some kind of suicide squad, huh? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I wonder if he went out like a suicide squad. Yeah, what is this? Some kind and, of infinity um, war? Although I like the throwback to his line of like, we have a Hulk, which is the line Tony said. He to doesn't deliver Avengers. it as well, though, because he's too sexy. It was... <laughs> it's the problem with the line, man. He's like, we have a Hulk. Oh, yeah? We fucking do, Tom? Fucking tell me again, you sexy motherfucker. Oh, man, like, like I, there's, there's no better way to set the tone for the movie and for your villain than having Thanos kick the shit out of Hulk. That fight scene is so good. Like, kick the shit I out of I don't like Hulk. Marvel CG fight scenes a lot of no, the time. That's true. It's... The only thing they did, and I'm convinced, and you can't tell me otherwise, is they gave two hobos motion cap suits <laughs> and told them to fight it out on the fucking lot. Because that fight was so brutal. This one doesn't check out, man. You can't, yeah, thank you. Thank you for Googling that. Just, uh... Yeah, it's, I don't think it would check out, but no, if it I, did, could you imagine? Thanos, hobo fight? I yeah, kind of hope it's uh, just Josh Brolin and Mark Ruffalo in mocap spandex, just like Brolin's fighting. got like a good, <laughs> Brolin's got like a good amount of muscle on Ruffalo, though. Ruffalo's been doing too many independent com- comedies. He's not, and, like, he's not a big guy. Somewhere. But like, the movie cleanly, like, off the bat, is like, alright, we're not fucking around. No. They killed Kicked Heimdall. The shit out of they Hulk. killed yeah, Loki. Heimdall's gone. Loki's Hulk, gone. Hulk got his ass beat, and that's the thing. He's a he's a child. We know that he's a child because he has the mentality of a child. So people that are like, I don't understand why Hulk just didn't come out. 
because he's like every kid who encounters their first bully that actually beats them up. Yeah. He's fucking terrified. He's scared. And that's why the rest, he's like, come on, man. And Hulk's like, no. And then he's he calls like, him a green yeah. asshole. Which I was <laughs> just so like, good. that's so good. That's the and equivalent of calling yourself a dickhead. Mark like, Ruffalo's so good in this. He's very good. Like, he's so good. I don't. I liked the Doctor Strange movie. Yeah. But I did not need a lot of Doctor Strange in this movie. And he's in it more than I, I thought. But I actually really. I liked needed him. more Doctor Strange because he got really cool with the spells. I yeah. still think the glowing shit is dumb. When he's got like no, but when he's got the whip and shit, and he's like whipping Thanos. I'm over the whip. That was I'm over cool. the whip. <laughs> if we want to talk about women, I don't care about. That's Pepper Potts because she's the fucking worst. I, I, hope, I hope she was in the half that died, and I hope she doesn't come back. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't get to see if she went or not. She eh? fucking better go away. Mm. Gwyneth Paltrow can go write a shitty blog somewhere else in an alternate universe. I, I mean, but that, that, that seemed more like, hey, hey, look, she's back too. Like, that was like a fuck you. I want to see Happy. I want to know what Happy's just, doing. Why wasn't Happy there? He because was John set. Favreau was doing no, shit. No, there, there's photos of them on set for that day. This scene probably got cut because Gwyneth Paltrow's like, look how good my ponytail is yet again in this movie. I'm really hoping they bring Happy into the next one. I hope that fucking Gwyneth Paltrow is one of the half that doesn't get brought back. <laughs> anyway, I, Peter you know, fucking Quill. Listen, I like Gamora and I like what she had to do in this movie, but yeah. She Peter's, had a plan. Peter's Peter, an issue. Peter dog fucker Quill. Yeah. Fuck the dog. He did though. In did. the last movie, by not killing his dad good enough. But he didn't. He didn't kill his dad good enough. He let his dad stab him through the heart with electrical tentacles and made that fight drag on way longer than it should have. But in the end, he, he became Pac Man, and that's stupid. <laughs> Fucking this movie, he could have ended it, but didn't, by just like not doing anything. He's a fucking man child that ruins yeah. the entire plan. He does, so. Which, to Again, be fair, though, is within his character this is the, range. This is the thing. That's the, the only he way is a man child. That's that's his character. But this is beyond man child. This is like, it's a fuck up. It's listen, a fuck up. I think. Listen, we'll see how it plays out down the, the line. The only and way I, I can I think excuse other movies this, will will pick up on this. The only way that but, I can excuse this, me, as a person and like physically offended, and I want Chris Pratt to write me a letter of apology for fucking up this bad. <laughs> uninvite him for my niece's bat mitzvah. Everyone died fucking, because of you. Yeah, they <laughs> did. But no, the, the thing is, fucking Strange saw into the future and would have stopped Quill if yeah, so it would have knew. changed the outcome. Yeah, so, so he, he knew, knew it was going to happen. I'm fine that Quill was predestined to be a fucking idiot. And I understand he yeah. serves a purpose to move the plot forward, to do the thing and the other thing so Thanos can go Listen, high atop the thing. I get, I get it. it. I fucking it was, hate it. It was him. a shitty moment. I don't think it was... It was necessary, but shitty. I mean, but but I think it was still it it, it was justified to a yeah. certain extent. Like it wasn't outside the range of his character. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like had another character than that, I'd be like, what the fuck? But yeah. I but thought like, it was no one within the, the range of his character. <sighs> and uh, that like that ends the time on Titan. Maybe Dan. I have a question. Yes. Is is Squirrel Girl going to save the day? She physically can't appear in these films. She is not allowed. She was cast in uh, the Freeform or ABC streaming series New Warriors. What? Uh, she is being played by actress, Ukrainian-American actress, Melina Vaintrub. Uh The only reason I know who she is is because she's a brunette with big tits, and that's my type. <laughs> I, I like that this Thor is still the Ragnarok Thor. Like, he's still yeah, funny. He's, he's still King Thor. He's less funny in this movie than he is in Ragnarok. Well, because but the movie in general his, is less again, funny. So everyone is less funny because everyone's ass has been kicked. That's I was true. so satisfied seeing Stark get his shit kicked in. Yeah. Because, like, I loved, again, what's my favorite part of Civil War is him getting his ass beat and then Steve not <laughs> killing him when he could have because freedom, <laughs> much like Murphy. Budweiser, the king of beers, is for everyone. So, so, so we like the Thor storyline? I like the Thor storyline because Stormbreaker both looks like the ultimate Thor's hammer and takes the name from Beta Ray Bill's weapon, which is, again, two really cool call-outs. Mm -hmm. And I like that. And I think it's great. And I would really appreciate if people were as on board as I am with that storyline. I, I don't dislike I, I, I liked it. I mean, if I were to rank all the storylines, I would rank his at the bottom. I mean, you're wrong for that. You just rank Peter Which, which storyline's worse? Anything involving Peter Quill. Peter Quill could cure cancer, and I'd still think he's a piece of shit. All right. All right. He might have, actually. He's from space. They have magic up there. Listen, I, don't get me wrong. I like the Thor stuff. It just falls. I know. Just and it paid off once he showed up in Wakanda mm. with the axe, kicking ass. That was awesome. 
And so again, it, it paid off and it was fine. And these are minor gripes because yeah. the movie was so fun. And the, but the rocket Thor stuff was really good, man. Like oh, I yeah. kept calling him a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Ask I, the rabbit. I, uh, that, that, was, that was a good stuff. <coughs> I dig that. I like that Thor got to use think... his godly power again. Yeah. Because he, he, everyone's like, oh, well, why did that happen? And I'm like, remember, Mjolnir was a seal and he wasn't familiar with how to do it. This one's a power amplifier that's forged from the heart of a dying star with pure Uru metal. It's designed to, you know, bring him back to top, top shape. It's just when nerd. you look... <laughs> nerd! I don't, I don't fucking, I don't know what you guys expected. From I mean, it's just, when you look at what point. everyone else had to do, yeah. like, you know, Tony's team, their mission was to get the gauntlet away from Thanos. Yeah. Cap's mission was to protect Vision. Thor's mission was to open a door to make a hammer. I mean, uh, sorry, make an axe. Correction. His it's mission like, was to go get a weapon capable of killing a mad titan. But it didn't. And using the power of the Bifrost getting back to Earth. But it, but it almost did. But it, it almost did. did. I guess, would like anything else, like could you not throw a regular axe? It, all it did was hit him and then he's like, too late, I'm bitch. sorry, did you miss the part and where I mean, he completely cut through a beam that was pure infinity energy? He could have done that with his With a fucking with regular his, axe? With his electricity powers that he had at the end of Ragnarok. I don't think electricity could have just showed up Wakanda and just like zapped a bunch of bitches. So you're telling me that the ability to rewrite the universe on a fundamental level can be parried with electricity? I'm not sure he did that. You and Ben Franklin are just like this fucking tight. You think lightning is so powerful. I didn't expect to see a red skull. Because at first it's like no one did. It's like a weird CG cape, and I'm like, oh. His accent was so hard to place too. And then when he says, "I'm like, like, holy shit, red skull." And honestly, I was not sure. I'm like, is that Hugo Weaving? Did they? Because Hugo Weaving was very outspoken about, I don't ever want to fucking do this ever again. Which, like, fuck you, dude. You did fucking five Transformers movies and three yeah, but Matrix tra- movies. Transformers movies are like two days in a booth. That's all he has to yeah, do. Yeah, no, he fuck shows you. Up in his Spend underwear. six hours in makeup, get paid $15 million and do this fucking movie. They did not. You stupid Australian cunt. Pay. No. They were not going to pay him $15 million. I don't care what they fucking pay him. He's an idiot for not doing this. You know what Don Cheadle did? House of Lies. You know what else he did? Fucking Avengers, because it's amazing. <laughs> He's also method. He actually paralyzed his legs for you. I hope he would paralyze himself. <laughs> but no, my point is, if you get given one of those roles, Anthony Hopkins came back after the dumpster fire that was Thor the Dark World, okay? If fucking Anthony Hopkins, Sir Anthony Hopkins, can come back, Lady Hugo Weaving of House Weaving, first of her name, can stop being a fucking drama queen and come back and make this story complete. It's just him and Natalie Portman. Fuck Natalie Portman, too. They're the whole dance. Fuck you, Natalie Portman. You made Annihilation. You actually get a pass. But fuck you, Hugo Weaving. Spider-Man and Black Panther dying in the theater. We went to VIP, and VIP Lansdowne Cinemas is almost Alamo Drafthouse level of theater etiquette for people. Very few people talk. Very few people yell. It's very quiet. Even the drunk-ass people that were beside us, other than uh, my friend who threw a lit cigarette at a bystander, um, <clears throat> Erica, how you doing? Man. I also saw it in VIP on the Friday, and it was dead, dead quiet, quiet for except, the last like ten except minutes. Except for when Black Panther and Spider Man died, because oh, yeah. when Black Panther died on Thursday night, everyone was like, <gasps> like an audible gasp, because this motherfucker's movie is still in theaters. <laughs> like they they killed him off. And Could that's, you imagine if? Like, if they Marvel didn't had do, the balls to actually kill him off. If they if like, they make this death stick, I no, will be so... Stick. Have you... Okay. Can, the sequel's been greenlit. Yeah, it's... It doesn't mean shit. <laughs> but, like... They, green, they greenlit a fucking Fantastic Four movie after the last one failed. Yeah, yeah. And they fucking pulled that. Yeah, I guess so. Okay? It doesn't mean shit. Now, but I, I think there's an entire generation of film-going people who are going to look back on this movie as the movie that scarred them. And everyone, no, but everyone's got a movie that's scarred Are you scarred fucking them. high? No, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> People, Who's going to be scarred by fucking Sebastian Stan and Tom Holland turning into it's fucking not, it's dust? Not, it's not Sebastian Stan. For, for young He's, kids. He makes me sad because no, that hair is amazing. But think of, think of a nine, ten-year-old. Yeah. I mean, Spider-Man's the one they most identify with. First of all, don't show a nine or ten-year-old these movies. These are PG movies. It doesn't they're mean they're family. good for kids. The Ring is a PG movie. Spider-Man Homecoming was a super fine movie for kids. And then you're like, let's go see the next one. Spider-Man's in this one. Spider-Man Homecoming and was a Spider-Man movie. If any movie with Captain America and no, Nazis man, in it... 
hands off for kids. I'm telling you, I think I think in 15, 20 years, there's an entire generation going to look back and be like, that movie fucked me up. Let me, but let, but in a good way. In a good way, it's let me say no. This but everyone, about it. everyone's got those scenes in movies that scarred them at different times. The face melting at the end of Raiders because scarred that's me terrifying. As a kid. No, that but, is more terrifying it's, it's, than someone turning no, man, to dust. No, but it's the idea of like. Spider-Man just died. And as yeah. far as this movie is concerned, he's dead. Yeah, we know he'll be back. But 10-year-olds don't understand that they greenlit Spider-Man Homecoming 2. Like, they don't get that. Well, they probably do. They all have Twitter and Twitch and I'm telling, I'm, I'm telling you, man. I, I think this movie is, is ballsy and it's going to have an impact. And, and in a good way. I think it's good. The way that the DC movies have had zero impact on anyone's lives. I, I think they've had zero impact on the box office, man. That too. They, they're but I, I, so I think, I so think this boring. Ending, I think this ending is going to hit people. And, hey, and, did you know and, Aquaman comes out this year? What? Actually, I'm actually excited for that because James Wan's directing it. Are it's you excited reason. for it? Only because James why have, Wan's why directing it. Why is no one else excited for this movie? Because they haven't shown us anything. Yeah. They, James Wan's directing there's it. There's not even a poster. No. There's a poster with water and a symbol, and that's it. And this, this is the point I'm getting at. This is 10 years of buildup. This is yep. now 18, 19 movies in. This started with a loosely built script filmed in much, much of it on location in California to having, what, three different units, Scotland, Africa, and like Pinewood Studios in Atlanta for this massive world-spanning movie that takes place in space, on Earth, in... A weird soul world. I know what they did a good job of is keeping um, it in different places. Yeah. Everything looks but also, different every, everyone, and good. Everyone got a moment. Every uh, Captain America didn't get a big enough moment for me. Well, he got the fucking get got this, the catching the spear. Get moment. this man a shield, and they give and him then, two gauntlets, and he has no fucking shield. Yeah, it's not a shield. I agree. It's, it's bullshit. So I guess very quickly, characters. what what do we think the next movie is? Oh man! Because again, listen, my my biggest knock against this movie is that it's it's. Can I tell you a secret? It's, it's not a hold on. It's it's not a full movie. It's just between us. This gals. is act. This is the first two acts of a movie. Hundred percent. Act two always ends with your heroes at their lowest. This at is Empire. Worst, and this, this is, is Empire. This, this is movie. Empire. This movie ends at the end of Act Two, right? So again, we don't get to see Cap and Tony, you know, reconnect and yeah. kind of get over their shit. So there's there are dangling plot threads. So this movie works as a whole if you just consider it to be the Thanos story. Yeah. And Thanos's arc is actually complete and. Again, the movie that end the shot of the movie him is ends so good. On him just sitting down, being like, ah, "I can finally rest. I can take a shit now." Yeah, he, Thanos has the look of a man who hasn't taken a shit Again, in several decades. That's a ballsy last last shot for your movie. It's a, it, the your movie villain, was about him. Your villain sitting down, being like, "Mission accomplished." Okay, before Credits. before we get to the next the next part, really <laughs> quickly, I need you to hit me with like. As critical as you can be, shit that pissed you off about the movie, because there are, there will be things um, that we haven't touched on already, Morty. Just quickly, shit that pissed me off. Uh, I, I wish Cap had more to do in this movie. He's yeah, just too. kind of a glorified supporting actor. He's Lois Lane um, in uh, Batman vs Superman. Yeah, he exists much. to get Vision to where he needs to be. Um, I, I guess a lot of my issues are Cap thing. I wish we had a Tony and Cap moment, but that's fine. We'll save it for the next movie, and I'm okay with that. Oh, Honestly. Man. That, but that's why I'm so originally this movie was called Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2. And then they're like, no, 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 this will be its own I, thing. I think we'll it's going to be... the next one. But yeah. this really is Part 1, though. In every sense of the word, this is a Part 1. And I think once the next one comes out, you're never going to watch these. Like, you're never going to just watch this one. They're always going to be considered one big movie. Well, you don't it's watch like, Deathly Hallows that's what Part I mean. 1. But they actually you called it... both. But they called it Part 1 and Part 2 because it's all one movie. I think we're going to lose Cap. I think we're going to lose Tony. I hope so. We, I don't know about Thor. I'm kind of 50-50 on he, Thor. He d wants I think Ragnarok kind now, of revitalized but the I Thor feel, franchise. But I feel like he realizes, like, I got a wife and two kids. Like, I can't keep fucking doing this. And plus, he's really funny. And I want to oh, see him in more comedic roles than him just being jacked and being like, yeah. Ugh, have at thee, sir. I, I think like, he can still be done with Marvel and the MCU without Thor being killed off. Yeah. yeah. He no, goes I, to read Fire of Asgard. There's still half the Asgardians on uh, on Thanos' ship, right? Yeah. So Are there. Yeah, Thanos. Assume. Thanos never kills everybody. Yeah, that's true. He yeah. only kills half of them, yeah. which is where Valkyrie and the other fucking cool. idiots are. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I, can I don't see know. That. Those I have... half of the Asgardians still gonna end up somewhere. It'll be. Um... 
These are these, these are exciting times to be alive. My one day Lord. they're one day they're gonna write a book on this whole MCU shit and the way they pulled this off. It's I hope gonna be not. a very interesting read. Just watch the movie. It's never gonna be replicated. I liked it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wear it. It's a good movie. Yeah. I, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, it. If you didn't like this movie and you saw it, fucking let me know. It managed. You're stupid, but let me know but, and tell me why. But this movie. But you're wrong. But this movie managed to give us a, a very cool villain. It managed to bring everyone Best together. Villain. And it gave everyone a moment to shine yeah. in either a small way or a big way. And, yeah, it's very, it's very good. And then what? where do we go from here? Straight to Avengers 4.